Hey, welcome back guys. Um, just finished doing the wiring on this XLX2. This will be the third one that I've set up. Um, had to put the 8mm bullets on this 800 kV sensor motor. Got the OSC 8mm plugs on there. SMC 9700 4S battery packs. And I am running it in SmartSense. I run all th uh, the other two XLX2s I have in SmartSense as well. So yeah, we're going to run this one in SmartSense. Um, yeah, I've seen all the posts on the internet, people claiming that when you turn these on, they just catch on fire for no reason at all. Um, I'm pretty much 100% positive that that will not happen because I've had no issues with the other two that I have. So, uh, here we go. Let's turn it on. I'm going to calibrate it real quick and we'll, uh, give the motor some throttle and guarantee there'll be no fires. New fan started. It's got the upgraded fan on there. Going to calibrate the throttle, forward, reverse, neutral, I don't know, I don't see any smoke yet, looks like it's okay, see you later, oh, that's good to me, some reverse, and there you have it, Castle XLX2, 800 kV sensor motor in smart sense mode got the correct plugs on there did a good job soldering it took my time gonna have no issues with this this is a great ESC if you can get one pick it up All right. also guys before this video ended um, I wanted to do a quick update on our TLR 5B kit this thing is pretty much done now that we got the electronics all wrapped up I just gotta throw those in there next week XLX2 sensored 800 kV motor Take a look at this thing though, it came out really nice. It's got the 5T wider suspension on there, uh, 5T springs, 50 weight shock oil, <clears throat> the FLM CVD axles and forever drive cups. Uh, body's going out for paint in about a week. I couldn't get that done during the holidays. Let's check out the body though, real quick. <clears throat> got the top tuning motor mount, mod racing, Center diff mount, uh, Hillatronics Hercules 8000 servo, official TLR brushless conversion kit. That's what all this carbon fiber is on the servo. And battery trays, some TLR uh, metal chassis braces, and one other cool thing. Gotta flip this guy over real quick. <clears throat> it's a Dark Side Studios. Um, I think it's yeah, Dark Side Studios vinyl wrap. For the bottom it came out pretty nice doing the blue and green be uh, beadlock rings to kind of match that i've never done blue and green before for some reason the color stood out to me and i thought it looked pretty cool so yeah we're gonna do that the body's gonna kind of match that <clears throat> back there real quick we should have the motor and ESCN by the end of this week so uh stay tuned we'll have a couple of uh, videos of this ripping up and down the street probably by friday or saturday thanks for watching